Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Kenny from Kenny's Hop Show on YouTube. Uh, this is going to be the first and what I hope to be many in a series of videos that I'm going to call the tailgate sessions. They're going to be held right here on the tailgate on my old beat up Ford pickup truck. Today we're going to talk about my old beat up Fender basement. Uh, by far, my most popular video on YouTube is a short talk on harmonica amps. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I'll put a link to that in this video and I'll put a link to this video in that video. Yeah, I'll link them both together. Uh, in that video, we compared uh, tube amps to solid state amps, and I've got a lot of great response on it. So I figured I'd do a part two. Part two was my upgrade from the uh, Gibson Falcon that I had in that. Uh, this is it. This is your end game. Uh, Fender Basement. It's a very highly sought after harmonica amp, and for good reason. These things are built like a tank. They're loud as hell, and they got crazy tone. Uh, I've modified this one a little bit. I've changed the preamp tubes, and I've swapped out the lower speakers for some Jensen MOD speakers. Uh, I'll put a clip for that in this video, and you'll check it out later. And here's what's going on in the back of the beast. I have a uh, 5751 in the first valve, a 1287 in the second valve, and the regular 12AX7 in the third valve. What you do here is, uh, it's called dropping the preamp. Uh, instead of having three 12AX7s across the board, it gives you 100% gain. What I have done here is I've lowered the gain in the first two valves and the first two preamp valves. What that does is uh, you suffer and you lose a little bit of overall volume, but what you gain back is a lot of tone and less feedback. Uh, over here, I guess got some uh, 6L6s, and I got a the rectifier, the tube rectifier GZ34, I think it is. Uh, the only other mods I've done is I put in a couple of Jensen MOD speakers in the bottom. I've left the Anko's factory ones up top, and other than that, that's all I've really done to this thing. And that's about it. I love this amp. Uh, everyone else loves it. One of my favorite things to do is when I'm at a jam and I see other harmonica players, or I see uh, people who are just starting out who have never played through an amp, they've only played through the house PA. I hand them my little turner here, and I just, here's the heartbreak, have fun with it. And the look on their face is always exactly the same. It's like this look of awe. And then they just proceed to chug and shred away in that bar. And it's, I kind of almost feel bad for them because they want to, after they play through it, they like they ask me a lot of questions they got to know. And it's like, uh, it's a steep buy-in. Get your wallet out. Uh, it's not cheap, but they can be had. Uh, brand new, they're 1500 bucks. I don't know how the new ones are. This is a 1993 issue. I love it, but if you have any uh, thoughts or questions about buying one of these, don't even hesitate to buy it, snap it up, get it. You'll love it. You'll hate carrying it. The thing weighs, the thing weighs, oh, they say 70 pounds, but I think it's more like 270 pounds because at one in the morning when you get home from playing, this thing is not light. But I love it. How can you not love it? love to have the volume up that's why they put the knob on the back of the thing here uh, how could you not love it I got this that's on that's on four well, you go past four sitting this close you're gonna get feedback uh, don't get a lot of feedback because I lower the preamp tubes but this thing is just it's just I don't know. Not the best playing I've ever done, but it's just so you get to hear what this thing sounds like. Uh, I ain't got a whole bunch to say today. This is just the first of what I hope to be many of the series. Uh, check out my other videos. Click the subscribe button. 
and enjoy Kenny's Hop Show.